in the field, high voltage lines, towers, diagonal wires and power lines are extensively spread out and significantly intersect with the flight zone of agricultural drones. If an agricultural drone happens to collide with a power line, it can result in not only substantial damage to the power grid but also financial losses for the operator. In order to ensure safety and prevent accidents, it is essential for every agricultural drone pilot to possess knowledge about high voltage power lines. This course is split into three sections, where the initial part explains how to identify high voltage lines and determine the minimum safety distances. The second part provides guidance on preventing drones from colliding with transmission lines. In part three, you will find detailed instructions on how to handle a situation where the drone collides with a transmission line. It is important to note that the information and regulations provided here are specific to China. Therefore, it is advisable to seek and adhere to the relevant local knowledge, laws, and regulations in your area. High voltage lines typically pertain to transmission lines that exceed 10 kV. They lack insulation and have exposed metal wires. If a drone approaches these high voltage lines within a specific distance, it will discharge which we refer to as the safety distance. The required safety distance can vary depending on factors such as temperature, humidity, and air pressure. When an agricultural drone is used for spraying operations, it increases the humidity in the air, which in turn necessitates a larger safety distance. Furthermore, due to the high current flowing through the wires, a magnetic field is generated around them. This magnetic field can disrupt the operation of agricultural drones, potentially causing a complete loss of control. In this section, we will be discussing the five types of high voltage lines that significantly affect the functioning of agricultural drones and how to identify them. Additionally, we will also cover the minimum safety distance that should be maintained between the drone and these lines. The 6 to 10 kV lines require 1 to 2 insulators, with one conductor split, a minimum safety distance of 3 meters must be maintained. The 35 kV line requires 3 to 6 insulators or synthetic insulators that are 0.6 to 0.7 meters long. With one conductor split, a minimum safety distance of 4 meters must be maintained. The 110 kV line requires 7 to 9 insulators or synthetic insulators that are 1.2 meters long. With one conductor split, a minimum safety distance of 5 meters must be maintained. The 220 kV line requires 14 to 18 insulators or synthetic insulators that are 2.2 meters long. With two conductor splits, a minimum safety distance of 6 meters must be maintained. The 500 kV line requires 25 to 33 insulators or synthetic insulators that are 5 meters long. With four conductor splits, a minimum safety distance of 8.5 meters must be maintained. Furthermore, it is crucial to understand the concept of the power facility protection zone. This zone refers to the space between the two planes created by the guideline sidings, which extend horizontally outward and are perpendicular to the ground. The distance of this zone varies depending on the voltage level. For voltages below 10 kV, it is 5 meters. For voltages ranging from 35 to 110 kV, it is 10 meters. For voltages between 220 and 330 kV, it is 15 meters. And for voltages of 500 kV or higher, it is 20 meters. As per Article 54 of the Electricity Law of the People's Republic of China, if any organization or individual intends to undertake activities that could potentially endanger the safety of electric power facilities within the designated protection zones, they must seek approval from the Electric Power Management Department. Additionally, they must implement necessary safety measures prior to commencing such operations. Hence, when operating within the vicinity of electrical facilities, it is imperative to reach out to the local power grid department to inform them and obtain their approval before proceeding. What kind of damage will an agricultural drone encounter if it is operated incorrectly and collides with a high voltage line? In May 2022, there was an incident where an agricultural drone collided with a 10 kV transmission line. The drone got entangled above the power lines, resulting in a short circuit between phases A and B. The incident resulted in over 6,300 households losing power, incurring 3,600 yuan in repair expenses, and damaging 35 transformers, 
costing a total of 40,000 yuan due to lime impacts. They experienced a loss of 5,456 kilowatt hours of electricity, resulting in a financial loss of 3,476 yuan. The accident resulted in a staggering 67,000 yuan worth of damages. Furthermore, this incident did not result in any harm to individuals, third-party losses, or a substantial societal impact, or the operator not only had to cover medical expenses and compensate for any third-party damages, but would also face legal consequences for the severity of the situation.